Hello everyone, this is Inayat Mir, the author of this course, Learning Microsoft Azure PowerShell from Scratch. This section consists of four videos. This is one of the four videos of this section. Let's take a look at overview of Microsoft Azure PowerShell. I will go over with this section's first video with live demo. In video 1, I will discuss about Azure PowerShell introduction, benefits of Azure PowerShell, PowerShell versions, versions comparison, PowerShell and Azure PowerShell usage with live demo. Let's take a look together at Microsoft Azure and Azure PowerShell demo. Open your browser and navigate to https colon slash slash azure.microsoft.com where we are looking at current available 36 Microsoft Azure regions. You might want to select nearest region at account creation time if not selected automatically you can scroll down the page to look at all available regions and also note that you will shortly see six additional microsoft azure regions in addition to 36 existing microsoft azure regions if you want to see products available by region you can browse this service page scroll down and select the region which is appropriate to your needs each column will show details for available products in usa and canada products are available at left side of your screen on data centers page you can find details about 15 billion dollars investment from Microsoft in Global Data Centers Infrastructure. Azure is available in 140 countries with a support of 17 languages and 24 currencies. I am going to log in to my existing Microsoft Azure account for a quick demo, but we will create a free account in next video. Let's go to microsoft azure powershell directly which is known as azure shell as well we have seen microsoft azure regions from browsing azure web page i am going to add a powershell script here to find nearest location of microsoft resource providers you can view azure powershell in a full screen mode or a split screen can be viewed as shown here. You must need to have internet access in order to log in to your Microsoft Azure account where you can run your Azure Shell script for administration and automation. Now you can view output of Azure PowerShell script that shows a list of Microsoft resource providers. I am switching back and forth between a split window and full screen for demo purposes. If you are working in Azure Shell only, you might want to stick with a full screen mode. To find current version of your PowerShell you can type dollar host command. My physical server is running Windows Server 2012 R2 operating system that was recently upgraded from PowerShell version 4 to PowerShell version 5.1. I also installed new PowerShell 6.0 version on same computer both versions can be used side by side on same host. This is a demo where I am using two different versions of PowerShell on same computer. You can also discover a Windows version by using winver command. 
I am running several physical and virtual operating systems ranging PowerShell version 2 to version 6. Let's take a peek on it. This is a Windows Server 2016 operating system that is showing my PowerShell version 5.1. To upgrade your existing PowerShell is a simple process. Just download and install a Windows Management Framework. I am going to show you this process from my server. My Windows 10 client is also showing same version but older operating systems may not have updated version of PowerShell. Your PowerShell ISE should match your current PowerShell version. ISE stands for Integrated Scripting Environment. I can also use dollar $host command to verify my PowerShell version from Integrated Scripting Environment, also known as ISE. ISE is used from uh, PowerShell directly, just using ISE command or you simply can use PowerShell ISE from Tools menu from Server Manager. You can go to www.github.com to find current version of PowerShell for download or upgrade. I would suggest creating GitHub account that will be very beneficial for your PowerShell scripting knowledge. I have downloaded and installed PowerShell 6 version from GitHub. This is my 2008 server running older version of PowerShell which is PowerShell version 2.0 not supported by Azure Shell. You have to download and install WMF which is Windows Management Framework to upgrade your PowerShell from existing version to current version as shown here. This installation may take up to 30 minutes or approximately 45 minutes. Browse to WMF download page, read details, download WMF as needed. If you want to select WMF 5.1 download, you will be able to upgrade your existing version to PowerShell 5.1. Install Windows Management Framework after a download. Once Windows Management Framework is installed, Restart your computer, log in back after reboot, open PowerShell and verify newly upgraded version which is now 5.1, upgraded from version 4. This installation process took about 40 minutes to complete. I did a fast forward for this section of my demo. Now you can see the version is 5.1.1. Five. So, previously it was 4.0. This wraps up my video one for this section. I will see you in my next video creating a Microsoft Azure online account. I hope you would like this video. See you in my next video. Bye.